Davy. How you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coronary. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man you could fit into a sandwich bag. Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. Win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Get ready with the bone saw and the rib spreader. You might want to hold your nose. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? Oh, fuck. Ooh, honey. <laughs>